Hello everybody, this is Steven with Canon.com and this week we're going to jump across the ocean to check out a, an Israeli firm actually listed in Canada uh, and recommended to us by uh, one of our um, users on our YouTube brand channel. So if you haven't seen uh, a lot of the other videos we've made on, on some in-depth technical analysis, uh, spend some time on the YouTube channel. Uh, and, and leave us a comment on any company you want us to check out in the future. Uh, but let's take a look now. You'll see it's uh, ISRICAN Biosciences, I-S-C-N-F. Uh, this is a, a, an Israeli firm, uh, a cultivator, uh, right outside of Tel Aviv is their space, their cultivation space. Uh, they're looking to export uh, to a lot of the European market, especially Germany. Um, and, and let's see what, what the pricing chart has done. This is uh, until about summertime 2020. You can see they were up around 30 cents, and since then they've, they've given a lot of that back, uh, currently at about 17 cents. We're looking at the uh, MA cross here. We have just two periods this time, a short and a long. The long is the green, and you can see the green is on top uh, of the red, the short term, which is a sign of weakness, and of course that happens during this big pricing chart loss. Uh, a couple of uh, earnings calls have happened. Uh, since then, nothing has happened to the price, so pretty neutral to those earnings calls. Uh, and then recently, we had a little bit of a bump going back up to a 19 cents before coming back down. So that was a quick, a quick move, just six candles, and, the, and it bounced. You'll see the the crosses, the moving average lines that we have, the green and the red, are pretty hard to tell apart. And then all of a sudden we can see that they, they uh, bifurcate a little bit. And, and the uh, short term is actually on the other side now. It's on the top. And so we know that that's a sign of strength. And that accompanied this uh, pricing chart bounce. Uh, you can see that it's a little hard. It's a little late, right? Maybe on this candle that crossed. But we don't know if that's a big uh, going to happen, uh, a big separation there, if it's going to be the same as this. So let's look at other indicators because really this, this is uh, hard to... Uh, have confidence in with just the one indicator. So we're looking at the Arun uh, again. I'll show you the Arun up is orange, the Arun down is blue. So this whole period of loss, again, the blue is on top. We do get a little back and forth, a little choppy, and then a big, a big Arun up move. Uh, and nothing really correlates with this pop right here. You can see actually the Arun down uh, is, is winning here, and then the Arun up has, is, um, above the Arun down for the rest of the candles starting here, um, but there's no real divergence here. You can see their parallel lines. So we like to see divergences where one line goes down, the Arun down goes down, the Arun up goes up. That's really telling us something. Uh, so what else can we learn? The stochastic RSI, we've seen this a couple times. Uh, and again, I'll show you the K is the blue line, the signal is the D. And so we're up above uh, and then kind of not a lot happening in this period. It looks like we're going to get weak, weak, weak. We get a little stronger. Uh, and then look what happens right before we see this pop. We see the uh, um, cross. That's the, the signal right there on November 13th, which is uh, two candles before the pop. And so we say, oh, that might be something. And then it actually crosses uh, 80 which is giving us extra confidence in there. So, okay, this may be an entry point that I want to think about. And the cross of the 80 happens two candles before. So uh, the stochastic is, is predicting this pop uh, much clearer than the rune is and much clearer than the MA cross. The MA cross becomes clear on the third candle. Uh, the rune becomes clear on the on the first candle. Uh, and the stochastic is two candles before. So uh, really interesting timing. This is only due to the, the math that goes behind these indicators. Uh, and, and you can absolutely see what happened since then. We had our cross the other, the opposite way on the 19th. Uh, where we still had some gains that day. We were actually um, pretty close to, to peaking, but but coming back down. And then if that was the signal, this cross back below 80 is the second signal, if you will. Uh, and that's happening during the, the give back of all the, all the price there. So you can kind of see we've actually kind of eclipsed the minus 20 sign there. Uh, so pretty clear. Check out Isrican Biosciences. If you're not signed up for our Chronicle, sign up. Isrican will be focused uh, this weekend. Uh, happy Thanksgiving, everybody, and happy trading.